time for us to start a wonderful morning of induction ceremonies. We might have a few uh, walk in a little bit late, but uh, let's get started. The time is of the essence for a very busy morning. So we'll start with a little bit more formal approach now. Uh, welcome to the 32nd Annual Induction Ceremony of the Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame. My name is Joe Passano. I'm the current president of the uh, foundation and really want to welcome you to this exceptional morning. I've been involved with the Conservation Hall of Fame for 28 years, so this is my 28th induction ceremony and look forward to every one of them. So I think you'll find it a great history and conservation, a great uh, lesson on uh, great people who have done wonderful things in the field of conservation. So I'm uh, very glad that you're joining us today. As you know, we have two uh, phenomenal conservationists to, to show our respect for today, uh, Noel Cutright and Leroy Winter. So we will spend most of the two hours uh, listening to speakers talk about the wonderful accomplishments of these two individuals. But before we begin that, I'd like to acknowledge some people. I'd like to uh, thank our board of governors and our board of directors, and uh, tell you just a little bit about the Conservation Hall of Fame. And the reason for doing that is that while some think we should just focus on the induction and the two inductees, as president, I realize there's a lot of things that this organization, this foundation needs to do to really live up to its, uh, up to the opportunities, up to its mission. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we've accomplished and a little bit of a little bit about some of the challenges we're facing, and you'll hear this three or four times, encourage you to become affiliate members because one of the things that we need the most is finances to help us do the other things that we need to do. Okay, so that's kind of an overview of today. I want to also thank you today uh, for coming on this beautiful, bright, warm spring day. <laughs> Actually, I think we're fortunate. The last few years we've had those kinds of uh, Saturdays and a fair number of people wanted to go uh, trout fishing that very first day. So we moved it a week earlier and we ordered a little dreary weather so it'll be a nice day to be indoors learning about the outdoors and maybe by tomorrow you have some sunshine. Uh, a quick announcement, we do have a luncheon uh, that's scheduled to begin at 1230. Those of you that get there earlier, there will be a cash bar so go over and continue your celebrations. Uh, as quickly as you can. We have to drive. It takes almost 15 minutes to drive there, even though I can see it from here if there was a window. And we'll show you a map. And How many of you already picked up a map? So if you need a map, there are maps out there, but we'll also project it at the very end. We may have extra lunch and tickets available. Uh, one reason as president I think that's important is that we paid for the 85 that we've ordered. We had 83 reservations. Some people probably have not come and so we'd like to sell the extra ones if we can because that, that might save us a couple hundred dollars. Okay, last, another quick announcement. We will be uh, recording by videotape the full ceremony. Uh, we do that for two purposes. We'd like an archival history record of what's being said and what we do here so that in the future historians might go through that information and come up with still more uh, findings and more books about the wonderful history of conservation in Wisconsin. Uh, that will be posted on YouTube as well as some of the still pictures that Megan will be taking. Uh, so just an announcement that for speakers, typically I say that in my emails, I forgot to do that. If you have a problem with you being on YouTube, let us know and we'll cut off that segment. So, on to a few recognitions. Uh, we indeed have two inductees. Uh, both of them are deceased, so they will not be able to join us today. I'm sure that they would love to have been here. Uh, would like to, however, honor their families and their friends. We also have two other dignitaries, our legislators, uh, Katrina Shanklin, our local representative at the state government and Julie Lassa, our senator from this district. 
uh, they will come up uh, once each to, pre to read a legislative citation, so we'll have a chance to applaud them at that point. Uh, increasingly, we find a few of our past inductees coming to our ceremony. Uh, it's unfortunate that it, sometimes it takes a whole lifetime to make your mark, and so we do have the reputation of, I think, out of the 88, probably 75 to 80 were deceased before we actually inducted them. But increasingly, we find uh, uh, some others who can come back. So I'd like to acknowledge, I think, Clifford Germain is here. Am I correct? Clifford, raise your hand. Was an inductee two years ago. Um, involved greatly with the natural areas uh, program, and we'll hear more about that because uh, Bill Cartwright was also a great fan of natural areas. Bill Hervath sometimes comes. Bill here today. Bill oftentimes comes, but uh, he was one of the founders of the Conservation Hall of Fame. And Ron Kostashek, I thought, might come, who was inducted last year. Okay, Cliff, I guess you're one of the esteemed one. <laughs> Welcome. Special thanks to some people behind the scenes who've done a lot. Smeekly Reserve, uh, which is the home of the Conservation Hall of Fame, and I'm going to encourage you with some photos a little later to go over there and see this wonderful 200-acre uh, community nature center and uh, university outdoor classroom. But the staff there, Ron Zimmerman, past director, um, Jim Bolt, Bill Boltz, who is here, our acting director, Megan Epps, he in the back row will take photos, as well as some of our new uh, student and younger staff. So thank you for your help. Uh, the Executive Committee of the Conservation Hall of Fame does a lot of work behind the scenes. Also, I'd like to thank Earl Spangenberg, our Executive Director, Donna Van Buchen, uh, Vice President, and who has worked with our newsletter and other and website. Instead of Steve Levine, our new treasurer, who probably took your money if you bought a luncheon ticket. Uh, it has turned into a family affair. I'd like to recognize the hard work of my wife, Lynn, and my daughter, Dawn. This is the first time Dawn has been able to come. For the last five years, she has done the artwork for the plaques that we'll see unveiled. A uh, very talented artist who works in glass and sketching and painting and many other notes. As a father, it's always of great pride that I say she had her start by the age of five we knew she would be an artist. Uh, so raise your hand to the two of you, please. Uh, um, the Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame is a cooperative venture of 24 statewide conservation organizations. As a member organization, nonprofit at that, uh, it was established in 1985 to encourage the growth and, and protect and practice of conservation in Wisconsin and in the nation. We do that in two primary ways. We honor the great conservationists, two of which we'll induct today. And we also, beyond just the induction ceremony, it's really trying to tell this whole story of conservation. A little later I might repeat myself, but. Uh, I've always been intrigued by two words as I've taught to many university classes in conservation and ecology and environmental education. The two words, synergism and gestalt. If you don't know those two words, they're, they're powerful words. I remember in an English class years ago, one teacher just said, I'm going to teach you important words and talk about how they pave the way to civilization. Like form follows function, and synergism and gestalt. So synergism is that, that, that cooperative work of individuals to try to achieve something bigger. And we'll see today that the two inductees are really walking in the footsteps of others, and they have great friends to help them with accomplish great accomplishments. In gestalt, the sum is greater than the parts. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. And I realize why we might have 88 inductees. The story of conservation is a much bigger, much broader, more beautiful picture. And if you can see the interconnections of 
all of that, that story becomes so much alive and we walk it every day. A great historian says the past is not dead. We are still living the past. So I think we do that in terms of conservation as well. So I want to welcome uh, some of our member organizations and their representatives. This year, uh, to strengthen the Conservation Hall of Fame, the board uh, decided to invite new, three new organizational members. Uh, those three organizations are the Wisconsin Society for Ornithology, and many of you are members of that organization because Noel Cartwright was uh, very involved with that organization. Um, at this point, I'd like to, uh, the, the representative Michael John Yeagers to just stand up briefly. So thank you, Michael, for representing the new organization. The second organization that was invited, accepted our invitation, was the International Crane Foundation. And uh, Rich Beal, was the president, was not able to join us today. He's pleasantly and happily at a place that I love, Africa, uh, Rwanda, I believe. So Kim Smith, their other vice president, is here. Is Kim available? Please stand, Kim. Thank you for uh, joining our organization. The last organization was Gathering Waters. Uh, it's an alliance for Wisconsin Land Trust, and we have the new executive director, Mike Carlson, with us today. Mike, could you stand up briefly? Uh, we have a board of directors and we have a board of governors, and uh, the board of directors is composed of one member each from those 24 organizations. And they help us make decisions relative to policy and, and future directions. Uh, and then they come hopefully to this ceremony, so I want to recognize them and those member organizations. We also have a board of governors, five individuals who are independent from the board of, of directors uh, have been appointed by the board of directors for their knowledge about conservation history and the people involved in that movement. So they, they help, in a sense, keep the rest of us honest by, by being the first reviewers of the, the nomination materials, and then they forward to us, the board, typically about five names each year, and we select two to three individuals from those five. So that if you're not familiar with our process, that's the, the basis of it. Let's quickly have uh, people, when I call up your name, just stand up and stay until we're all finished with this. So we have a board of directors. We have about 10 people on the executive committee. I'm Joe Pasco, the president. I represent the Wisconsin Association for Environmental Education. Donna Van Buchen, please stand. It's our new vice president, and she represents the Wisconsin, I mean, represents the Wild Ones Natural Landscapers. Thank you, Donna. Earl Spangenberg is our executive secretary, and he represents the American Water Resources Association over there by the door. Jerry Newth is our secretary, and he represents the Wisconsin Wildlife Federation. Steve Levine, our new treasurer, represents the Soil and Water Conservation Society. Jan Scalpone, uh, is she here today? Thank you. And I only have trouble with your name. Is Scalpone or Scalpone? Thank you. Uh, she represents the Citizens Natural Resources Association. She's a member at large. Uh, Mark Randall is also a member at large on the executive committee. He represents the Wisconsin, uh, the Wisconsin chapter of the Wildlife Society. Tom Rudolph, also, also on the executive committee, represents the Wisconsin Land and Conservation Association. And James, R James River represents the Wisconsin Woodland <coughs> Association. The other directors that we have include see my order isn't quite right, but uh, Mike Roos uh, from Dane County, sorry, we'll just go by this list, okay? Mike Roos, uh, Dane County Conservation League, um, 
Mike Ross that we already recognized. Mike Volmer re re represents the uh, Ice Age Trail Alliance. Uh, International Crane Foundation we recognized already. Uh, Terry Harris, the Isaac Walton League. Tom Gilbert, the Musket Club. Uh, John Bates is here. I'm sure uh, the Nature Conservancy. Thank you, John. Rich Winslow represents the Sierra Club. Diane Lewick, the College of Natural Resources at the University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point. Uh, Bob Jeraka, uh, Wisconsin Audubon Council. Uh, Mike Roost, Wisconsin Bow Hunters Association. Uh, Marcel Relock, uh, Conservation Congress. Tom Munch, uh, Wisconsin Outdoor Communicators Association. And Michael, we recognized already with WSO, and Jan Harms, the Wisconsin Society for American Foresters. So thank you, uh, board, again for all of your work over the last year and and, and for the next year's efforts. I already described what the board of governors does. So we have five uh, esteemed. Uh, members on that Board of Governors. Uh, Bill Berry and Tim Ivesley um, both are writers and authors and been involved in the journal, journalist field for many, many years. So thank you for that effort. Uh, Alan Haney is former Dean of the College of Natural Resources. Uh, George Meyer is uh, former Secretary of the Department of Natural Resources and currently the Director of the uh, Wisconsin Wildlife Federation. And Jane Wiley is our newest board member. Uh, she's been involved, in, been involved in the outdoor recreation field uh, for many years and also in, has served on the DNR boards. Could I have those five please stand up? Thank you also for all of your help. Just a word or two uh, more about the Conservation Hall of Fame. As I indicated, we started in 1985 with 20 member organizations. Our task was to encourage the growth and practice of conservation in Wisconsin and the nation. We recognized the activities of individuals who contribute significantly to conservation programs, projects, and public understanding. As I mentioned before, while the inductees are in, in of themselves you know, very important, and the primary purpose for our existence. We're really also uh, in the business of telling that larger story, that gestalt story about what conservation is and what it can do for our nation and the world. I recognize that most of us are here because we were inspired by other conservationists. And I encourage you to uh, kind of pick up that baton and carry it one more step, uh, helping out the work of Noel and, and Leroy and the 86 others in our Hall of Fame. We are a unique organization. As far as I know, we're the only state organization that focuses on conservationists in our state. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is our 32nd. Uh, we started in 85 with John Muir and Aldo Leopold. We induct people from all walks of life. We have, of course, many policymakers and politicians, we have many scientists and resource managers, we have authors, we have painters. If you want to learn more about these inductees and their story, I encourage you to go to the Smeekley Reserve Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame gallery and exhibit. And I'll show you on a map where that is. Um, I'm down to this last note here encourage you to submit nominations of people you think uh, deserve to be recognized for induction. Uh, in the, bo in your, the bottom of the insert of your program is a short statement about how you can do that. Uh, we depend on people and organizations to nominate uh, people for induction. Uh, since I have struggled, as, as my colleagues have for 25 years, 30 years, to, to review and then make good selections, we depend 
greatly on good biographical information. So while you might just want to submit a, a one short letter nominating someone and then one paragraph highlight their accomplishments, in the end, you, we would ask that you gather other friends and other a small committee to create a folder biography that will allow our Board of Governors and the Board of Directors to really appraise their contributions. So that's one of the works that we have to do. We currently are a fully volunteer organization. We have no money to hire historians to do, look at that work. Um, so we encourage you to submit nominations. The Wisconsin Conservation Hall of Fame does have a, uh, has made great strides in the last 30 years. Uh, we are located at Smeekler Reserve in terms of a physical presence. And the visitor center just across the street would look like this if you went in the evening hours. Uh, within that building, there is a registration desk and a guest desk, as well as a, uh, what they call the grill shop, a gift shop, if you want to buy some things this afternoon, great bookstore. This is the gallery in which the nomination plaques, induction plaques, are located. And uh, this was taken some years ago. I see we have another 10 or 15 on a bottom tier. So stop over there and you'll see this, you'll see the new uh, plaques. There's also a wonderful classroom and meeting room. If you belong to a conservation organization and would like a meeting place, you can reserve this online or by calling them. Use free of charge to any conservation organization. The, the Hall of Fame, I think, is very proud of the fact that 25 years ago when we started uh, this pro project and looked for a phys physical place, we joined forces with Smeekly Reserve and helped them build this addition to their visitor center. So in a sense, the museum, the Museum of Conservation History, as well as the classroom uh, are, are part of our, our organization. Nevertheless, it's turned out to be a great partnership with Smeekly Reserve. Thank you, Jim, and others for that help. I mentioned that we made great progress. We have still great challenges. Uh, in the newsletter, we highlighted a couple of the challenges that we're facing. We would like to increase the diversity on our leadership as well as in our induction hall of fame. At present, we only have a handful of, of women, and we realize there are many women who also deserve recognition, but we need good nominations about those people. Um, we also have a great challenge with, uh, with finances, and are looking for donations, grants, and just small contributions from our, our affiliate members to help us move forward. Our income is only about $5,000 a year. Most of that's spent on the seduction process and the invitations and the newsletter. Uh, again, I encourage you to look at the newsletter. I think it's page five. Outline some of the other elements in our strategic plan and strategic goals. Uh, so we'd like to hire an administrative, part-time administrative assistant, but we'll need money to do that. Encourage you to become affiliate members. With that, let's move to our induction ceremony. Uh, this year, the two inductees, as I indicated in the press release that we put out, the inductees these, this year reflect the many facets of conservation in Wisconsin the lifetime contributions of dedicated individuals, the work of conservation organizations and agencies, and perhaps somewhat unique this year, the important role that can be played by business and industry. I'm going to give procedures and then introduce the Noel Cartwright speakers. The procedure we have will spend uh, 45 minutes uh, with each of the nominations or nominees. We have four speakers for each of them. I've asked them to keep their presentations to eight to 10 minutes. So 30 minutes to 40 minutes of presentation 
on each of the uh, each of the inductees. After that, we will have the representatives and senator come up and do a legislative citation. And then we'll unveil the plaques. Uh, at the end, I would invite the speakers to come up and uh, stand for some photos while the rest of you head off to lunch in the cash bar and we'll meet you over there.